All right, so I'm walking you through the scavenger hunt if you had any issues with any of the questions. I'm starting off with 7n plus 2 is equal to 4n plus 17. And feel free to just skip through the video to get to um, whatever example you need to see. I'm always thinking about distribute, combine like terms, bring all variables to one side, and then solve. Or donuts can be salty, or however you want to remember it. Distribute. There's nothing we can distribute here. Combine like terms on either side. Well, those can't be combined, those can't be combined. Can't do anything with that. Bring all variables to one side. Absolutely, I've got a 7n and a 4n. I choose the smaller one, so I'm gonna subtract 4n from both sides. You're always, when you bring your variables to one side, you're always either gonna be adding or subtracting so that you can create a zero pair. I've created a zero pair with that 4n, and now I have 7n minus 4n, I have 3n, plus 2 is equal to 17. Now we're going to subtract 2 on both sides. Use that subtraction property of equality. That's a zero pair with that 2. And we're left with 3n equals 15. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Divide by 3, that's the division property of equality. And we're left with n equals 5. So on our scavenger hunt, we're going to scroll until we find our previous answer to be 5. Here we go. So here's the next one we'll do. So we have 8y minus 3 equals 15 plus 2y. And donuts can be spooky, whatever. Distribute, none of that. I can't combine these two. And I cannot combine those two because they're different terms. They're, they're not like terms. But I can bring all my variables to one side. I've got 8y or 2y. I'm going to subtract 2y from both sides. I do that so that those become a zero pair and they're gone. 8y minus 2y leaves me with 6y minus 3 equals 15. Now I've brought all my variables over and I can solve. 6y. 6 times y is closest to the y, so I'm going to do plus 3, plus 3. That's a zero pair. And I'm left with 6y equals 18. I do the inverse of times 6, which is divide by 6. So that's the division property of equality, and we have y equals 3. So now we look for the previous answer of 3. Here we go. Excellent. Next one. 5x plus 9 is equal to x minus 23. Donuts can be salty. No distributing. There's no combining like terms on each side. But I am going to bring all variables to one side. This is actually a 1x. And since 1 is less than 5, I'm going to subtract 1x from both sides. That's a 0 pair. So we have 5 minus 1 gives us 4x plus 9 equal to negative 23. Don't forget that if it says minus 23 right there, that bring down that negative. Okay, If you don't bring down that negative and you just put positive 23, your problem is going to have a lot of issues. I'm not going to mess with that 4 but I am going to undo plus 9 by subtracting 9 on both sides. We're left with 4x, it's a zero pair, equals negative 23 minus 9. Now, I have a lot of us that might jump in our heads to do 23 minus 9, but careful, it's negative 23 minus 9, which really gives us negative 32. From here, we divide by 4, divide by 4, x equals negative 8. Let's find that. Here we go. Nineteen minus two k equals three k minus one. Donuts can be salty. No distributing. No combining on the left or right, but we are going to bring our variables over. So I've got minus 2k and a positive 3k. Minus 2, that coefficient is lower than 3, so I'm going to add 2k to both sides. That's a zero pair. 
which is what I wanted, and I have 19 equals 5k minus 1. 5k is not going to be messed with. We're just going to add 1 on both sides. We have 20 equals 5k. Divide both sides by 5, and you have 4 equals k. So let's find 4. There it is. Seven minus six u equals five u plus twenty nine. Donuts can be salty. No distribute, no combine. Bring all variables. Got negative six u, positive five u. I'm going to add six u to both sides. So that that's a zero pair. All right, I have 11 times u plus 29. So let's do the inverse of plus 29, which is minus 29. Here is a great example or a great opportunity for us to do a little bit of mathematical errors. So let's just check in your calculator, 7 minus 29. And we get negative 22 equals 11u. We're going to divide both sides by 11. U equals, be careful, negative 22 divided by positive 11 gives us negative 2. I saw a lot of people got positive 2, but be careful with that. So we got negative 2, so on to the next one. So this one has 9m equals 4m minus 35. Distribute, combine like terms, bring all variables, solve. Nothing to distribute can't combine those, but I can bring all my variables to one side, 9m and 4m. One thing I notice is this 9m is all by itself on the left. I definitely don't want to move that. Um, I want to keep this on the left. So let's go ahead and subtract 4m on both sides so that we can make a zero pair. 9m minus 4m leaves us with 5m equals negative 35. Divide both sides by 5 m equals negative 7. All right, negative 7. So now we're getting into examples that have distribution. This is good. 6 times x minus 1 equals 9 times x minus 4. Donuts can be salty. Distribute. Can we distribute? Absolutely. So we have 6 times x which gives us 6x, 6 times negative 1, which is negative 6. Then you have 9 times x, 9x, 9 times negative 4, which is negative 36. And definitely check that in your calculator. Combine like terms on each side. 6x minus 6, I can't combine anything. 9x minus 36, I can't combine anything. Moving on. Bring all variables to one side. 6x. 9x. I'm going to move the smaller one. That means I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides. That way I can create a zero pair. I have negative 6. That's just what was left over. Don't forget that negative. Equals 9 minus 6 gives me 3x minus 36. We brought all of our variables over. Now it's time to solve. Put a box around 3x to know that I'm going to add 36 first on both sides. Three x equals 30. Then we divide by three, divide by three. X equals 10. So we have 10 minus d equals negative 34 minus 5d. Distribute, combine, bring all variables, solve. Nothing to distribute. I can't combine those and I cannot combine those. Bring all variables to one side, absolutely. I'm going to think of this as a negative 1d 
and a negative 5d. You can move whichever variable you want. I choose the lower coefficient. So what's lower, negative 1 or negative 5? Negative 5 is lower. So I'm going to do the inverse, which is add 5. So add 5d to both sides. The reason that I do this is that when you you do the inverse of the lowest coefficient, you're always going to have a positive coefficient in front of your variable. So now I have 10, and I have negative 1d plus 5d. Well, negative 1 plus 5 gives me a positive 4d. That just makes it so that I have a positive coefficient and I'm less likely to make an error. Um, a lot of times I'll make a common mathematical error if I'm dealing with negatives. Positive 4d. Now how do I get rid of this 10? It's a positive 10, so we're going to have to subtract 10 on both sides. So that's a zero pair. We're left with 4d equals negative 44. Divide both sides by 4, and we get d equals negative 11. Let's find negative 11 in our, there it is, excellent. So we've got some distribution here. I have 4 times w minus 6 equals 3 times w plus 1. Distribute, combine, bring all variables, solve. Let's distribute. 4 times w, that's 4w. 4 times negative 6, that's negative 24. Equals 3 times w, that's just 3w. 3 times positive 1, it's positive 3. Combine like terms. Well, can't combine those, cannot combine those, so we're good. We have a 4w and a 3w. We want to bring the smaller one over, so we're going to subtract 3w so that there's a zero pair there. I'm left with 3 on the right side. That was from here. 4w minus 3w just leaves me with 1w. I'm just going to write it as w. So I have w minus 24. So we'll add 24, add 24. W equals 27. There it is. All right, this is a good one. It's got distributing and combining like terms. 8x minus 1 minus 2x equals negative times x plus 50. Donuts can be salty. Distribute. Yes. I have 8 times x. That's 8x. I have 8 times negative 1. That's negative 8. This negative 2x just comes right down. Minus 2x. I have a negative 1 times x, which is negative 1x negative 1 times positive 50. That's negative 50. So we've distributed. Combine like terms on both sides. So how about there? Is there anything we can combine? Absolutely. We've got 8x and a negative 2x. Combining means we're adding them together. So it's going to be something x, and we look at 8, that coefficient, minus 2, 6x. Then we have minus 8. It's just left over. On the right side, we have negative 1x minus 50. We're going to bring all variables to one side. So I have a 6x or a negative 1x. Negative 1 is a lower coefficient, so let's do the inverse. Add 1x, add 1x. That goes away. 7x minus 8 equals negative 50. From here, we're going to add 8. We're left with 7x equals negative 42. Divide by 7, divide by 7, and x equals negative 6. Here's the description how to do the next one. You're going to get an answer of y equals 2, 
and you can follow those steps. And here's our last one.